Up School Book Reviews. My name is Graham Brown. Today we're looking at how to write copy that sells, the step-by-step -step system for more sales, for more customers, more often, by Ray Edwards. My name is Graham Brown, Up School Book Reviews. If you like these book reviews, go and check out my free course on upschoolbookreviews.com slash course, where you can get access to five book reviews, the top five books this year, which I believe will help you become a better lifestyle entrepreneur. And you can complete that course in under an hour. So I do all the reading so you don't have to. And if you read those books, it's even better. You can get more out of them. So let's talk about how to write copy that sells by Ray Edwards. Now, if you're a lifestyle entrepreneur like me, you will come to rely on the internet in the form of newsletters and online blogs, sales pages to sell your stuff, whether it's products or services. And copywriting is a powerful sales tool. So there's virtually no other skill that can make you as much money as copywriting. And whether it's an email newsletter or a sales page or an article or a landing page on your website, how you structure and present that copy can have radically different outcomes. The key is the headline. Clarity is power. You must distill your big idea or copy thesis down to a single clear sentence. And studies have shown that you have about two seconds to grab the attention of people who are reading your copy for the first time. A key tool in this war of attention is your headline. So to do its job, let's have a look at what a headline must accomplish. One, it must stop the reader in their tracks. They must stop scanning through the copy on the page and consider the headline. Two, make a promise, either explicitly or implicitly, that interests the reader. Three, evoke enough curiosity to compel them to keep reading. Prospects never read anything at first. They never believe anything at first and they never buy anything at first. So in this short time, it's important that your copy builds rapport. And people like three kinds of people. One, those who are like themselves. Two, those they would like to be. And three, those who like them back. So rapport demonstrates that you know the reader's pain, that you understand his or her problems, and that you have some common experiences that you can share that proves you understand all of the above. We'll talk about those in a minute. The key to copywriting is, well, it's not about selling your product. So where do you start? Well, you begin your copywriting process by identifying the person you are trying to reach with your message understanding the problem that you are solving for them and the pain that that problem causes. As Stephen Covey says in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, seek first to understand, then be understood. The same is true when it comes to writing copy and getting people to buy. First, state their problem and second, your solution. The more accurately that you can describe your reader's problem in terms that they relate to, the more instinctively they feel that you must have an answer to that problem. So use the reader's own language, the very words and phrases they use to describe the problem they want to solve. You must first empathize with your reader and the feelings that they have. Then you must develop the feelings of excitement that come from knowing the problem can be solved. And this comes from the transformation. See, once you state the problem, you then need to focus on the transformation. This is the benefit of following through and making change. You know, what happens to the reader when they buy your product? How does it improve their life? Whatever you're selling, whether it's a home study program, a book, a seminar, your consulting services, anything at all, what people are buying is not the stuff, it's the transformation. As I put it in my own marketing, people don't buy stuff, people buy what stuff does for them. You should focus 80% of your copy on the transformation. And what happens if they don't make the change? 
You also need to amplify the consequences of not solving the problem and the aspirations the reader holds for the future. Paint pictures in their mind. Make the reader aware of the cost of indecision. You need to place a dollar cost on this failure to solve the problem when at all possible. Get the reader to fully experience the consequence of not solving their problem. Here's an example. You're at the point of decision. You can either continue down the path of least resistance, the path you've already been traveling, or you can choose the road less traveled. The path of least resistance will probably result in you getting the same outcomes you've always received. But if you want something different to happen, if you want to change the direction of your health or your relationships, or your finances, etc., you're going to have to do something different. Make a new choice. Pursue your new outcome. Click the button below, fill out the order form, and we will immediately ship your entire package to you. It will contain everything you need to get started. Now, a key tool in teaching transformation is storytelling. Stories are the process by which we learn, live, and believe anything. So if you want to sell, you've got to get good at telling stories. Offer testimonials, real-life stories of people who have successfully made the transformation that you are providing. Tell your story. So in conclusion, let's have a look at setting up the sale. Now, Edwards offers his 21-step checklist for a sales page. I won't go through that checklist on the audio, but if you want to go and check out the checklist, go and check out upschoolbookreviews.com and look for this review on how to write copy that sells. As you progress to the end of the page, you need to give your prospects the words to say inside their own minds. Now, you are thinking thoughts for the reader, and now you are taking them, hand-holding them into the sale with your copy. The reason this is so powerful when related to office is that when you write in the prospect's positive voice, e.g., yes, Graham, I want to take advantage of your Copywriting Academy coaching program. I want to possess the power of turning words into wealth. You're telling him or her what to think, and that is the goal of successful copywriting. My name's Graham Brown. This is upschoolbookreviews.com.